Number 15. Write the mathematical expression for the reaction quotient QC for each of the following reactions, and then we have this one. So in this case, we need to write the QC for 2SO2 gas plus O2 gas, which comes to equilibrium with 2SO3 gas. Now, writing the QC, there's a very a simple a general formula, and it's this one, right? They want you to basically write the formula for products divided by reactants. That's what this is. It's whatever the products are divided by the reactants, and then just make sure that you raise each product or each reactant to their coefficient, the big number in the front. Now, there are rules. Only gases and, oh, sorry, I should have said aqueous first. Only aqueous and gases are allowed in this formula. So the first thing is go to your states and check them out. But in this case, since I have only gases, right, gas, gas, and gas, I don't have to get rid of anyone. All three of these are going to be in my QC formula. So let's get it started. QC equals something divided by something else, right? So let's start with the products. Now these brackets just mean concentration, aka molarity. And that's what the C is too. The C says that we're taking concentrations, aka molarities. So I have one product, SO3. So I'm going to just put bracket. I'm going to say that this is SO3. I'm going to close the bracket. And now I just have to make sure, am I going to raise it to any number? Well, in this case, I have a 2 coefficient in the front. So I do have to raise this to the second. Now that's the end for the products. So now let's move on to the reactants. I got two reactants. They're both gases, so both are going to be included. Doesn't matter which one you start with. I'll just work from left to right. So I have SO2. So I'm going to write that in brackets, SO2. Close the bracket, and then just see if I need a coefficient, or aka an exponent, right? So here I have a 2 in front of the SO2. So that means I have to raise that to the second, aka square it. Now I work on the next one. Bracket, O2, close the bracket, and what do you guys think? Do I need a number? Well here, there's only one, right? If you don't see a number, that just means one. And in this case, you don't have to write the one, because anything raised to the first is itself, right? It's the same number. So you don't have to write it. And we're done. It's easy as that, guys. So this is your KC expression. And we are done. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you guys all in future lessons. Let me know in the comments, all right? I hope you guys have a great day. And let's keep studying hard. See you later. Bye.